you would have seen the order from a Pakistan court on the issue of sedition. Are you hoping that this leads to a larger debate on criminal defamation, an order from the Supreme Court on outdated statutes like sedition, so it becomes bigger because if Rahul Gandhi can be disqualified and convicted uh, for the kind of comment that he made, it really narrows the space for free speech in the political context in India. See, I'm not used to making rash comments or comments not based on record, so I have three answers to your point. Point one, this is not the proceeding for what you are saying for that. Sure. This is the proceeding about his appeal against conviction on the main matter and his stay of conviction as far as the interim is concerned, apart, of course, from stay of suspension, stay of sentence. This is not the proceeding which will decide the constitutional validity, as lawyers call it, of sections 499 and 500. Point one. Point two, however, there is a, already an existing judgment called Subramaniam Swami versus somebody, where ironically I defended these sections and a judgment of the Supreme Court where I succeeded, which has held the provisions to be constitutional. So in an appropriate future case, the larger debate of whether these provisions are constitutional or not will have to be decided by the Supreme Court by a larger bench, because there is already a governing bench in a judgment authored by former Chief Justice Deepak Mishra upholding the constitutional validity. Thirdly, uh, you know, we rightly criticize uh, Pakistan for so, so many things. But always remember there are things to learn from everyone. Certainly in the area of sedition, just because it is Pakistan, I don't think we should stop learning from their courts. Our courts have felt the same way, but they have not walked the talk yet in actually striking down the sedition provision. They have done almost that by an interim order passed by our Supreme Court saying that this provision will not be applied to the several cases pending or may arise in the future. That is virtually rendering it in the interim to a dead letter. But they've not struck it down. The Pakistan court has struck it down. And it's a common provision, remember, from our common British heritage. So there's always something to learn from the worst examples. And Pakistan is once an example for sedition law. And lastly, uh, I think, yes, there is now scope for a larger debate, despite the validity of 499 having been upheld already by the Supreme Court, we have never had the kind of misuse of these provisions as in this government. And that is what gives rise to a need for a larger debate. Okay. You have never had, uh, Rahul, and you know That's not entirely correct. Uh, governments of all hues have misused the law, including the UPA government of the past, your governments in Maharashtra, the misuse of this law has been rampant and their case is galore. So don't blame this government alone. All governments have done this, sir. You didn't allow me to complete my sentence. Okay. I repeat, I repeat, no. When I was completing my sentence, I was saying no government in the past has applied this law against public figures in politics is the point I wanted to make. Yes, it has been applied against citizens or outside parliament. But here today, you are having public figures, A, B, opposition public figures, C, speeches given in political movement in respect of public interest in which sentences are plucked out, and D, applied almost entirely to the political opposition. Of course, E is within parliament as well as far as privilege is concerned. Okay. This combination of A to E has not happened before. The examples you are talking of are no doubt true of civil society or certain NGOs or other organizations, even there, of course, the degree has nowhere been as rampant as in this government since 2014. But yes, I accept there have been some cases. But there have been never cases, in, 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 as far as public figures are concerned, of political speeches being hauled up for defamation in this contrived manner that one person files in Patna, one files in Rachi, one files in Surat, uh, for a case where the three named persons don't file anything. So a community angle is taken.